Good day, YouTube. This is Jay Money with Falling Forward Financial. Uh, just an update here on uh, Sundial. Sundial's having a uh, suck-ass day here again. Don't know what's going on with this. Um, I'm down below my uh, cost basis again. Uh, debating whether I should um, just sit on it or uh, buy some more of this one. If you're buying the dip, put that in the comments. That would be interesting to know. If you're sitting on this one or have some further in information uh, that would be interesting to know as well but it's almost uh, 50 percent haircut here in the uh, last month getting close uh, this one's I mean been up and down up and down I've bought the dips a couple times as you can see uh, I still have 170 here at a dollar eight uh, I think I have an, another hundred or so in my uh, retirement at 60 or 80 cents um, but uh, so anyway back to sundial ticker SNDL uh, that's kind of what it's done here over the uh, last month three months and here's what it's doing today uh, nothing to brag about um, might uh, pick up some more shares if it um, goes much lower and that way you can dollar cost average into it and decide if I want to get out or uh, haven't quite decided with this one if you don't know much about this one, uh, you can feel free to pause and uh, go over this for yourself. It's in the uh, MJ. If you're watching this, I'm sure you have Sundial or you've uh, already watched some of my other videos or already know all about it. Uh, $1.64 billion uh, market cap and um, great ratings here. <laughs> Not hardly. So a sell. It's getting towards the uh, sell point on uh, Sundial. Sundial Growers isn't the best Reddit stock to own for a short squeeze. And I know this one's been shorted. It's had tons of hype. A lot of hype spent around this one. Um, I think since December, since I uh, first got into it. Um, the um, big thing was uh, trying to get it up above a dollar. And now it's back down below. So might be getting in trouble again on this one. And uh, we'll see if I can maintain that dollar level. And um, uh, So argued uh, Sundial stock uh, would ride the wave of the uh, Canadian producers benefiting from uh, Biden. Kinder view of MJ decriminalization. I have to tell you I admire my colleagues' courage. Some of these names are just awful. Sundial trading around a dollar isn't close to being one of the best Reddit stocks to own for a short squeeze. And so I know this one's been shorted uh, numerous times. Uh, and it did have a uh, run up in uh, March. And unfortunately I didn't sell out of it. And I'm not going to read all of this. So feel free to... Uh, Pause and uh, go over the rest there for yourself. So it had a shot at $4 within the uh, next 12 to 24 months. I'd turn around and tell you to forget uh, about it. I've had uh, comments on other videos that I've had saying to get out of this one. It's just a uh, short term. Wouldn't even touch it. Um, I guess I got into it uh, pretty cheap and uh, just kind of uh, dollar cost average into it. But it's still uh, running back down. Uh, they've raised cash. They've done um, mergers. Um, I just don't get what's going on the, with this one. Uh, maybe it's uh, management. I don't know. But um, it was trading around 42% higher than the uh, current share price. So long term, if it follows its plan to become a branded producer solely, I don't think it's uh, got a shot. And that was back in uh, mid-March. So there's marijuana stocks to buy that will heat up this summer. I've talked about a lot of these. Cure Leaf, Cresco Labs, Green Thumb, True Leaf, Columbia Care. I've touched, I've covered uh, Village Farms. Uh, that's a good play. Um, and Grow Generation has been an awesome play. I have uh, both of those. I can still brag about those. Um, 
This is just kind of goes over some more uh, financials and some more information. <clears throat> Here's uh, three marijuana MJ stocks uh, better than sundial growers that Robin Hood investors can't buy. So these are not on uh, Robin Hood. This is just dated here on the 12th. Some of these I've already went over. Uh, so Sundial ranks the most popular MJ stock on Robin Hood. It's even the third most widely held stock overall among investors using the trading platform. Seven other stocks also included in the list of the 100 most popular stocks on Robin Hood. And so I know uh, the Robin Hood hype has um, sent this one up a time or two, but uh, here's some other ones to look at. Uh, Air Wellness, uh, market cap of $1.1 billion is well below uh, Sundial's $1.7 billion market cap. However, the U.S. Uh, multi-state operator generated over four times more revenue in its fourth quarter than Sundial did. So these might be some uh, to consider. Um, either uh, get into these or kick Sundial to the side. Or a dollar cost average out of uh, Sundial. I haven't quite decided. Again, I don't give tax, legal, or trading advice. I'm just stating my opinion on uh, some things that I'm looking to do. And but feel free to pause and uh, go over the rest there for yourself. Goes over EBITDA of 19.4 million and Q4 Sundial reported an adjusted EBITDA loss. And here's some more information about uh, Air. Uh, Air shouldn't have the problems keeping up its momentum going. The uh, company's recent acquisition of Liberty Health Science gives it a, a solid position in the fast-growing Florida medical. MJ Market Air also completed acquisitions in Arizona and Ohio in March and depending and a pending deal that will give it a foothold in New Jersey. Um, the company projects full year 2020 revenue of 725 million and adjusted EBITDA of 325 million. Uh, next we have Cresco Labs. I've uh, covered them a couple different times. Um, also offers much of an attractive valuation than Sundial Growers uh, does. Its forward price to sales is a little bit over one-tenth the size of Sundial's forward uh, price to sales multiple. Like Air Cresco blows Sundial out of the water when it comes to delivering growth. And so might be something for you to consider if you're looking to uh, get out of uh, Sundial or if you already have um, Air and uh, Cresco might be ones for you to look at. Probably the biggest opportunity for Cresco through though is in uh, New York and um, I uh, covered that a while back here um, maybe just a week or so ago. The Empire State recently legalized recreational MJ. Cresco stands as one of the only uh, 10 MJ operators licensed for vertical operations in the uh, New York State. Next we have uh, Cureleaf and I've covered this one as well. The biggest US uh, multi-state MJ operator claims a market cap of around uh, 10 billion even though it's a lot larger than Sundial Growers. Cureleaf is still a better bargain with a forward a uh, ratio of 73% lower than the uh, Canadian counterpart. In the fourth quarter, Cure Leafs total revenue more than uh, tripled year over year to uh, $230.3 million. Adjusted EBITDA soared 289% to $53.8 million. Uh, acquisitions have played a significant role in Cure Leafs phenomenal growth. In particular, the company's uh, July 2020 purchase of grassroots boosted sales tremendously. So they're all growing, they're all doing acquisitions, they're all doing uh, what they can do to become the uh, top notch. And uh, we'll see uh, which one uh, takes over. As you uh, follow my channel, I've covered um, Tilray and Freya quite a few different times. Um, still uh, two of my favorites. Uh, over here to uh, Reddit. 
Sundials, who is still in. So everybody on Sundial is still uh, bullish. Um, that's why I've stayed in it, because everybody is so bullish. Uh, but yet it still keeps going down. It's still uh, disappointing at times. So come on, really? You're going to keep dipping like that? Crazy company. Uh, indeed. Doge is the best OTC buyers right now. I just covered Doge uh, yesterday. Sundial, come on, run. Bullish. This isn't going anywhere. 7% <laughs> of that is today. Don't be fooled. They want you to fold lung. And I've heard that quite a few different times. Sundial could give the... Zometica so move. Oh, so I just covered uh, Zometica. They're having a great uh, run up here today, and uh, Sundial's doing the uh, opposite. But that's all that I uh, have on uh, Sundial. Loaded 4,000 shares. Uh, so he bought the dip. So, like I said, everybody's still uh, bullish on this one, and. Um, I'm becoming less bullish on it. It's just uh, let me down uh, too many times and the run down here and uh, maybe I'll put in an order and set your alerts and see how much lower it goes and uh, put in a uh, buy order. Maybe it'll hit 85 cents. Who knows? So um, I would like to trim some of this down. Uh, maybe um, buy it at 90 cent and sell it at a dollar and cut back to 100 shares I haven't quite decided on this one yet um, but the uh, low of the day is uh, almost 90 cents so I think it's gonna touch 90 cents the way it's going here so could try a 90 cent order maybe that's what I'll do so that's it uh, for sundial if you still have this one go ahead and leave it in the comments if you bought the dip uh, hit the uh, almost 90 cent dip uh, put that in the uh, comments as well and if you're bull or bear on this one that would be interesting to know as well uh, again and if you haven't hit that like button yet uh, go ahead and hit that for me as well as subscribing that would really help out the channel and hit the bell so you're notified of when the next videos drop again this is j money following forward financial happy trading happy investing stay green cheers